in the documentary, it talks about how the, the footage was hidden from the American people for 25 years, mm -hmm. okay? In this documentary, they go and they question the Japanese youth about uh, the event. Mm -hmm. None of them knew what happened. Mm -hmm. They didn't know an atomic bomb was dropped on their mm -hmm. cities mm -hmm. because it wasn't being told. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is the this is the game. This is the game. I can strip you. I can I can control your perception of the world. Mm -hmm. If if I control your education, mm -hmm. okay. And Muhammad Ali was good too with them. He yeah. put he put them like he, he even put a few of them in their place. Yeah, but but that's 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 the that's that's the key. And the thing is, is that this system is not going to educate your children. No, it's not. No. It's only going to indoctrinate them. No. So you have to educate you your want. children. You yeah. have to. Yeah. But now. Let me finish up on this guy because he, he done gave him three yeah, other guys. He done, yeah, he done. He can't go for the, yeah. go for the no, head shot. Mike Tyson. Him, oh, <laughs> you can see all in his face and mm -hmm. his face. Uh -huh. Keep quiet because with that much blood on America's hands, you have no right to speak. I will speak because I don't have that blood on my hand. Yes, there's corruption there. Yes, there's mismanagement of resources. Yes, there is abuse. There's abuse in every nation on earth, including this one. So let's not play holy to moralize on them. Let's help them. I'm not moralizing. I'm asking a question and I got an answer. Why would you put it as the most corrupt regime in the world? That doesn't make sense. Can you think of one more corrupt? Yeah, I'm living in one. I'm living in one. Yes. Yeah. You've done a hell of a thing on this earth, so you should not be the one to talk. You should be quiet when it comes to moral condemnation. That's what they tried to do. That's what they fry egg on his head. condemn him from his position. She said, no, I will not do that. Bring, just keep on coming because I'm not condemning anyone. You know, I loved her for her spirit. She stood up. Now, this is something. Wow. Oh, yeah. That was hot fight. Mm, <laughs> oh, yeah. He but burned it up. But mm. now, check this out. This is a guy named Dan uh, Pena. But listen, listen to this conversation because this is, this is interesting. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. Okay. You support Trump. Yep. Okay. I was one of the first endorsers, public okay. endorsers of, of President Trump. What are you Trump. guys going to do when our ocean level rises? Thank you for asking that no. question. I have the answer, though. No, let me finish. I have the answer. Let me finish. Well, 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 right thank you for the question. Yeah. Right now, okay. For the first time on earth, we're changing the gas. Now you're level. full of shit. Sit down. I'm going to answer you. I'm going to answer you. Shut up and, you. And, you. Shut up and sit down. down. No way. Sit down. No, no, I've got to finish my question. Uh, you I'm, I'm going to answer global warming. Right, right now, the question. our gas answer. is changing on Earth, and it's changing to CO2. What do you people with the money, what are you doing about this? Because I'm going to tell you right children. now. No, I've got children. I've got 21, 23-year-old <laughs> children. And what's their future with you people with money? You, you, you talk about money all of the time. Okay, okay. Sit down, please. Sit down, please. What In the front row. Excuse me. Earth. In the front row. Please about sit down. Earth. Okay, you've asked your question. Thank you very much. Okay, okay I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer. Excuse me, ma'am. Will you please sit down? And, uh, please. Thank you. That's okay. Please sit down. Let him answer. Okay. In 2011, my wife and I were in Antarctica renewing our vows. For most of you that don't know, Antarctica is on a mountaintop. Okay, and uh, there is a $500 million fac uh, facility, uh, scientific facility there, and, and the scientists came to give us presentations about global warming. And they had cores of ice that they had drilled. They had drilled four or 5,000 cores, and they only brought 15 or 20. So they're going through the second or third core, and they said, uh, 275,000 years ago, this was the temperature, blah, 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 blah. and then 55,000 years ago, the world was two degrees warmer Celsius than it is today. This is 2011. And oh, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. 
And he said, and I said, well, you mean the whole world? He says, yes. And the polls are only benchmarks. And I said, well, what about the things that the, the young woman alluded to? Okay. And he said, it's all cyclical. And although the gas may have exacerbated it, in the cosmos of time, it's not a fart in the wind. In the cosmos of time, of the 13.8 billion years that we've been on this miserable planet, it's not a fart in the wind. And as I told Joe Rogan on his show, and he said in his infinite wisdom, and uh, Joe, if you hear this, and I thank you for the opportunity to be on your show, he said, then in 25,000 years, it's most likely not going to be a problem. Now, my direct answer to your question, if that were really true, would you believe and let's just for a moment say that it is true. That means that the best scenario vis-a-vis -vis global warming is about 10 feet raising water. That's the best scenario over the next 40, 50 years. That's the best scenario. The worst scenario is about 100 feet. But let's just take the 10 feet. If the water on the planet is going to rise up 10 feet, that means the southern part of the United States is gone. England is gone. Most of Europe is gone. And I can go, uh, most of Central America is gone. Okay. If that's the case, let's just take Florida, for example, which is one of the fastest growing condominium, beachfront condominiums on the planet. In the prospectus, when you invest, there should be, in the footnotes, if global warming is for real, they won't put it that way, global warming happens, and water rises 10 feet, this investment you made is fuck all. Now, one single investment prospectus written since 2000, this century, has alluded to global warming. Now, one motherfucker. If it were really true, the banks wouldn't invest. The banks wouldn't finance. But what he's saying makes sense. Because they do projections. They're looking at if they're they're investing all of this money, mm -hmm. why would they invest their money in something, in something that's going to get destroyed? Mm -hmm. That's going to get destroyed soon. Now I forgot what um Trump said he don't believe in global warming. I, well, I forgot <laughs> what the E-Man broke that down too mm -hmm. on global warming because it had nothing to do with global warming from their that perspective. Mm -hmm. It was another type of um I, I have to get the information on it because he did a hell of a breakdown on uh, global warming, which makes sense. Because the, mm -hmm. but that's but the thing BS. Is, but the thing is, is that no, you, I mean you got to think about what he's saying from the business perspective. No, I understand what he's saying. Yeah, these these yeah. people when they, they invest all of this with these money. banks, mm -hmm. they're not investing their money in something, something that is not going to be right. Something's not yeah. going to be a, a sure be. thing. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so the thing is this. A lot of times what they're saying is with global warming, what you don't realize is that a lot of different taxes are going to start coming with this. Mm -hmm. And they're going to start charging you extra fees. Mm -hmm. for yeah. Stuff yeah, you know, you're going to gas. That ain't and, real. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. So, so, so the thing is, is that, like I said, you got to listen to everybody. He mm -hmm. put it out there. Mm -hmm. He said that it's going to be in contracts mm -hmm. for these condominiums in Florida. Mm -hmm. He put it out there. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so, you know, you, you have to take things and just analyze, analyze it and think it. about yeah. it. Think about yeah. what mm -hmm. people are saying. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. The fucking condominium. So the people that have the money, and I'm, I'm jealous of the Vice President Gore, which Sally and I rode on a plane from South America with a few years ago. I am jealous he came up with a scam before I did. <laughs> <laughs> Because the financial institutions, the banks of this world know it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you couldn't get a goddamn loan in London. Mm -hmm. You know those 30, 40 year mortgages? Mm -hmm. The world will be over by then. Mm -hmm. Is Barclays Bank going to give you a motherfucking loan? With the greatest respect, ma'am, it's the greatest fraud that's been perpetrated on mankind this century. That's why I got the man in his, in his understanding. Mm. If he told us what it is, I got to get that piece on um, global. He broke it down. What he's saying the whole thing that he's saying. 
and invest in invest in money. They're not going to invest money on uh, properties properties that they know is going under soon. Okay. So they spend money they on studies money as well. I'm sure. Yeah, what well, the thing mm. is, is like you saying, like you saying, we we gotta think, we gotta think our way through this this whole total situation, and that's why I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you that piece okay. on, um, even what Emin Warfi Muhammad broke down, and it just made it was, yeah, what it was, mm -hmm. it was a, what he's it it was it was related to mm -hmm. what he's saying yeah, that so. that's just a setup. That's what they want you to believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if you believe this, we can do this. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. But now, watch this. How many of you, all y'all got cell phones, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. all got cell phones. How many of you read the manual? The, the manual, manual to the cell phone? Mm -hmm. I, Man, I, I, I couldn't I see it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see it. It's a lot. Okay. All right. So now. It's a lot, too. <laughs> all right. Let me show you this. Now you put that baby on airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> you said get the what? You keep that radiation from uh -oh. bombarding you constantly. Uh oh, let me see something. This is a warning from the iPhone. Mm -hmm. To be sure the human exposure does not exceed the F FCC guidelines, always follow these instructions. Keep iPhone at least 15 millimeters or 5 eighths of an inch away from the body. Mm -hmm. And only use carrying cases, belt clips, or holders that do not have metal parts mm -hmm. and that maintain at least 15 millimeters or 5 eighths of an inch separation between the iPhone mm -hmm. and the body. Mm -hmm. Alright? And it says to view the information on your iPhone, go to the settings and, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So. We're all like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. They said this will be away from your body. Right. Mm -hmm. We're all like this. Mm -hmm. In the pocket. Mm -hmm. And radiation is like she said, is being emitted from this phone. Mm -hmm. And it's going in mm -hmm. your body. body. Mm -hmm. Okay? People sleep with it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, when we're all in a room together, right? Dark. All of us ain't here together. Mm -hmm. Increasing cell phone radiation. radiation. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. The smart meters, mm -hmm. right? They took and they put these smart meters on your homes, mm -hmm. right? On our homes. Emits radiation. Mm -hmm. Okay? And now if you've heard of something called the Internet of Things, mm -hmm. okay? Or IOT, the Internet of Things, they want to ch they want to have all of these all of your devices right mm -hmm. communicate together to the internet, mm -hmm. right? yeah okay but now they can't do that with the system that they have currently which is called the 4G system so now they're moving to what the, well the my my natural path he's he's he he just warned us on this whole thing cuz it's all a setup they're mm -hmm. going into the 5G um, and he's saying those of us that live in either in apartment buildings with all these towers mm -hmm. over your home mm -hmm. that we're being affected, but you don't know it. You don't Did know. You? you know you're not feeling right, mm -hmm. but you're mm -hmm. not understanding well, what's Why? what's going on mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Why? What is causing that? You can lead go to. Uh, go st straight through North Philly, mm -hmm. where they just pulled all them towers there. People think they did for one thing, yeah. but they did destroying us. It, it's just like we damn if we do, we damn if we do. Because yeah. well, for one, even with the cell phone, I don't, I don't use it. And I, and I told several sisters that got like, you know, some people don't want information. Nope. So I was telling the sister because especially the Muslim population of female, the young generation. This is all yep, that. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. They that. think it's cool. Mm -hmm. he, sh he showed us, he showed us a, 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 a one where the, the they created cancer in the ear mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of the just total 
contact with that phone up. And I can I can literally see it because that's all they do. They walk around all day thinking it's, thinking it's cool to walk around like that and ignorant. <laughs> right. and, and if you grow up if you've grown up on yes. a cell phone, it's really and doing yeah. it. Right, all these years you. Yeah, I and I don't talk on it. I remember a show I saw years ago, long time ago, before mm -hmm. cell phones even advanced to this level. Mm -hmm. When they had to do it, the big joints with mm -hmm. the antennas oh, on, yes. and they oh, took yeah. an X-ray. This guy was a businessman. Yeah. He was always on his phone. He died yes. of some type of cancer. Or something. Mm -hmm. they showed an the X-ray of his brain. Yes, and it was the shape of the antenna. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Of the phone. Wow. Mm -hmm. But see, but see, the thing is, is that with the five G. They're going to have, I mean, this is going to put, you know, hundreds of more times of, of, of radiation in the air because it has to be said. a stronger right. yeah. signal, signal. Uh -huh. yeah. you know. But yeah. now, now, I saw this on here too where it was talking about the printer. Even mm -hmm. your printer is mm -hmm. giving off radiation, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. But now, watch this. I want you to, I want you to hear this because this is. What are the side what effects what, of uh, all that radiation? Like, do they have a list? Are we working with? With, oh yeah, it's see. seven fourteen. Seven fourteen. What y'all want to do? Keep going. Uh, no, I didn't know. If we brother um, Celine gave. Us no, he didn't give frame. us a time frame because okay. nobody's going to be using this room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, but let me let me get. I want to show you this, but let me let me get back to what we were doing last time. Because I want I want you to see that, and we can come back to this because I want to show you this piece on the cell phone reach. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so just just remember. Which I want to get back to that. But the last time when we ended, dang! Oh my God! Let me show you this. <laughs> it's choices. It's choices. All right. So last time I was showing you how the um, the relationship between. Jesus mm -hmm. and sun worship. Okay, mm -hmm. you, you remember that? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I, I I wasn't able to show you some of the the uh, videos I wanted to show you. Um, but wait a minute, maybe I'll hold off on that because I think we can come back to that too. But I want you to see this because I think this is important because we we have to start understanding um, what they did with. Jesus. Okay? Mm -hmm. But now, I want you to hear this real quick. Uh, let's move on. Marley. Mm Jesus' brothers were so dangerous that for hundreds of years the church fathers refused to include them in the Bible. They were only they didn't want to include them in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Alright? The letters of uh, Jesus' brothers. Okay? They didn't want to include them in the Bible. Accepted because the oral traditions concerning Jesus' family were so strong. There were some Christian leaders who said, well, James, I don't know if we should include him. Now, he's the brother of Jesus. So why wouldn't you want his letter? Because if you read the letter, it doesn't have the gospel that people came to associate with Christianity. In complete contrast to today's Christianity, the letters of Jesus' brothers describe him as their master, but not divine. They see Jesus as a human character blessed by God. The thing about the book of James, it's the teachings of Jesus, but not the teachings about Jesus. James passes on what he got from his brother. You could say it has no theology. And yet it does have a theology, but it's the theology of Jesus. But it's no theology about Jesus in that book. It doesn't mention the cross of Christ doesn't mention the blood of Jesus, doesn't mention forgiving sins through believing in the Lord, our Savior who's in heaven, nothing like that. It's an amazing book to read. This 
alternative version of Jesus' message can be found in other texts too. In the Greek quarter of the old city of Jerusalem, there is another ancient book that was not included in the Bible. It's one of the most contested of early Christian documents, possibly even older than the Gospels themselves. I believe it is the key to understanding Jesus' original message. I'm very sorry that the library is not in its proper situation. The Library of the Greek Patriarch has the only complete copy of an ancient handbook specially written for converts to Christianity that was compiled when Jesus' family was still alive. The Didache gives a direct insight into what the very earliest Christians thought and did. It has never before been filmed. Can I hold it? Yes. Wow. This is like being close to the early church. Of course. Wow. And, and um, you, I'm not using gloves, is that okay? It's okay. It's okay. I'm not using this one. Yes. Wow. The book begins here. There are two ways, one of the life and one of the death. The Didache, or teaching, contains a code of Christian ethics based on the original teachings of Jesus and some instructions as to the proper forms of worship. There is a great difference between the two ways. The book makes it so dangerous for today's Christianity is what it leaves out. There is no mention of the virgin birth, no mention of the resurrection, and above all, no mention of Jesus as God. They talk of Jesus in here as Lord and not Lord God, suggesting that they saw him as being more human than divine. Also contains a detailed description of a very early communion service. Unlike today, there is no suggestion that the bread and wine are the body and blood of Christ. And the reason why the communion was the blood and the body of Christ is because you're dealing with pagans. The Romans had communions. Mm -hmm. This is what they were into. Mm -hmm. So all they did was take their belief system and combine it with the real messenger whose name was Isa, mm. not Jesus, because the word Jesus did not exist back then. Mm. Because there's no J in Aramaic or Hebrew. Mm -hmm. There's no J in Greek. Mm. So how are you having somebody named Jesus? Mm. Okay. So this is this is the, the game that they're that they're playing with. And and I showed you last time the 1611 version of the King James Bible. Mm -hmm. And his name in there. I mean, there's no J's in that whole Bible. Mm -hmm. Not one J. His name is Isus. Isus. With an I. I-E-O-S-U-S. -S. That's how it's spelled in there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even, even um, uh, Jacob, right? Mm -hmm. Was it Jacob? No, 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 that's not Jacob. I'm sorry. Um, Job. Okay, in that in that Bible, his name is Iub. Mm -hmm. It's I O B, mm -hmm. and that sounds exactly what the Quran says his name was mm -hmm. Iub. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So the the things that Allah wow. has left us the breadcrumbs, we just have to sort them out and find them. Okay, because the truth is the truth is here. Yeah, and I think mm -hmm. that something lately. It, uh, somebody texted me on that because they said that the the, um, the Catholics mm -hmm. they they they're getting this information and have a real um, they're having a problem with accepting the truth of this and if this is the truth then they need to rethink. Yeah, but see, but see, that, see, that's the see the the, the whole game is this too. Because the thing is, they find a lot of these ancient manuscripts and stuff. Mm -hmm. and they knock them drawers away. Yeah. Can't, oh, mm -hmm. can't get out. You won't be print this can't one. Can't see this? <laughs> right? Well, right. Now, now, now watch this, because we're going to get a little, little deeper here. Watch this. In fact, Jesus is referred to not as God's son, but his servant. 
and concerning the broken bread. We thank you, our Father, for the life and knowledge which you made known to us through Jesus, your servant. To you belongs the... So what it says is mm -hmm. Jesus, mm -hmm. yes, sir. <laughs> it don't even say Jesus because mm -hmm. the word don't exist, it, it, it didn't exist back then. Right. Wow. Yeah. What is absolutely fundamental to all Christians, including myself, is the idea that Jesus is God. Without that, there is no Christianity. But what is now clear is that the very earliest Jewish Christians, including Jesus' own family, did not see him as God. And ultimately, that is why the church has gone so far to delete them from the Christian story. This is Judas, uh, the brother of the Lord according to the place, Jude. Jude, yeah, who has written an In the Bible, in the letter of Jesus' younger brother, Jude, there is an extraordinary passage denouncing a group of people who are secretly corrupting the true faith. For admission has been secretly gained by some who long ago were designated for this condemnation. Ungodly persons who pervert the grace of our God. Mm. Ungodly persons. See, this is, this is, when you start to study the history of what was going on back, Okay, who was Jesus against? Who was it? Well, who was his his main opponents back then? Who did he criticize a lot? All right, who he crit criticized was the scribes and the Pharisees. The scribes are the ones that would write well, down the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Right, the Pharisees were the uh, high Jewish priests. So what they were doing was they were changing laws, they were omitting laws, they were changing stories. Mm. Right. Mm. And he was condemning them, he was mm. getting on them. So they hated him. Mm. Now, when you talk about, well, let's, let's, here with, let, let's, let's finish this up, and then I'll talk about that. Decode it. It becomes a clear warning that the new movement was losing sight of Jesus' original message. says, wait a minute, who, who was corrupting Jesus' message? Jesus' family and the earliest followers of Jesus had the right message. And notice people were corrupting it. Mm -hmm. All right? This is what's being said here. Mm -hmm. All right, but now watch. A group began corrupting the message. By the time Jude writes, he could see the writing on the wall. He could see we're losing out. And it's a battle cry, it's a call to arms, spiritually speaking. He's not talking about outsiders. He's talking about people who claim to be part of us that are not teaching what we were originally handed down. These are grumblers, malcontents, following their own sinful desires. They are loudmouth boasters, flattering people to gain advantage. And he's getting very worried. And he's telling the little group that would still listen to him. I think in effect he's saying, don't listen to all these new things that are coming along. You fight hard for that original faith that was delivered to us. Family tradition. Follow the tradition of the family. Almost a mute testimony to what used to be the way. Constantine the Great made Christianity.